scariest moment of my life. As the investigation into Omari and Humphrey's death continues, concerns are being raised now by parents on social media about the safety of Davis and Township's Lake Callis. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bill Harris. And I'm Sadie Hughes. Thank you for joining us tonight. Davison Township's police chief says his officers are still investigating the nine-year-old's death tonight. Omari and Humphrey's body was found last Friday in Lake Callis. Investigators hope to have more answers by today, but Township Police Chief Rick Freeman says they're still working to determine exactly how Omari died. The autopsy is pending, but police say preliminary results show no signs of foul play. Meanwhile, some parents Parents have been expressing concerns about the lake's safety since the Lake Callis Recreation Area opened last month. That's where Stephanie Parkinson joins us now live. Sadie, it's the drop-off that's been scaring parents most, many of them taking to Facebook to express those concerns. These posts back in late June, even before Omarion's disappearance, one of those mothers on there, we spoke with her today, she tells me her trip with her family here to Lake Callis was one of the worst days of her life. Tara Diamond says her two young children went underwater after getting past that drop-off point she mentioned. She says she had to rush in to save them and told me she too lost her footing when she did that. But she says thanks to other people nearby, she was able to get her children back to safety. And after that happened, she went to township officials hoping something would be done, but she says she doesn't feel they took her concerns seriously. We were completely brushed off. There's, yeah, I can't even describe how, I just, I hope that none of those people have to go through what we went through that day because it was the most terrifying moment of my life and I feel like they weren't concerned about it whatsoever. The man responsible for building this new park in Davis and Township says signs have been posted saying no lifeguards, swim at your own risk, and they recently moved the buoys to help warn people sooner of that drop off. It's built with the safety in mind. It was, was the very first thing that we thought of. We have a, a lot of safety features out here that the public never even gets to see, but it's for their benefits. Tara says she doesn't feel the signs are enough because they don't warn specifically of that drop off, just telling people to be careful at that beach area. But again, Stewart tells us they did move those buoys to try and warn people of that drop off and keep them away from it. He tells us safety is a priority here for Davison Township. For now, live in Davison Township, Stephanie Parkinson, NBC 25.